Hello and welcome back to another Bucky O'Hare comic look through and today guys we are now on issue 6 so as ever this is the front cover featuring Winnie DeWitt, Dead Eye Duck and of course Bucky O'Hare 25 super Bucky O'Hare prizes to be won see page 16 uh, so number 6 75 pence back in the day uh, May 29th to June 11th every fortnight um, Was that? did we say that was like 1992, 93, 94 one of those Let's go for 92. And of course, you would have had a free new giant Swizzers Matlow refresher bar, which we can see was taped by you because uh, it's been ripped. Yeah. I've noticed like a lot of comics in the past I've collected back, used of, like they used to sell tape all the prizes to the front. I mean, I can see why, but if you're a collector, this is a pain in the backside. Okay, so as explaining again, uh, what the SPACE stands for, Sentient Protoplasm Against Colonial Encroachment. Bucky looks very happy there, doesn't he? Blinky looks a bit shell-shocked. Okay then. Uh, I remember this now. So they were hurtling through space on a rock, meeting their rat. So it tells us more of the story here. I'm going too far ahead. Just take a look over there. Well, that's very cool. That's the universe, all the universe, all the uh, plants lined up. Now, we've got to keep an eye out for Star Wars references because Bucky O'Hare is full of them. you just got to know where to look. Meanwhile, on the Toad Magma Tanker. Well, they're trying to fight somebody. Nah, so they're after Deadeye and Jenny, after Jenny was kidnapped by the Toads, if you remember. That looks like the Toad, um, what's it called? Croker, Toad Croker there. My gosh. My buck of hair knowledge is starting to uh, dwindle. You know, Duck, sometimes you're smarter than you look. I never accept compliments from witches, lass. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely do love the, um, <laughs> the dialogue, the script in these comics um as a kid i never really picked up on it but having gone back through these comics is <laughs> quite an eye-opener okay this is one of my favorite b b uh, bits we have the hair mail uh dear captain over here i have written this letter to inform that i've discovered an alien life form they call themselves baby flies oh we don't like baby flies like flies at all the habitat is very warm and humid and they are very shy vegetarians but can be dangerous and annoyed the baby flies are very clever of plants and you could use them to your advantage as they could help you to invent some sort of toad repellent. They live on planet Zogo in the Centauria constellation. Yours sincerely, Martin L. Thorpe from Stockport. Martin, you're now in a YouTube video. Been mentioned in a YouTube video, isn't it? I wonder if uh, these people still remember sending these letters in, if they ever actually saw them published. Many thanks for your suggestion, Martin. Which is now winging its way to SPSC Central Command. The only problem I see is that Toad's favourite meal is flies. And if they discover... Oh, well, actually. Flies. Oh, we've got a spelling mistake there. And if they discover this planet, they might think it was time for a snack. Thanks. Also for the sketches of Centaurians. There's a prize of £3. You could get a prize of £3 for sending a letter in. That's cool. I didn't know that. They're quite happy, don't they, these flies? Yummy, look at all those fresh, tasty baby flies. <laughs> this is getting weird. Uh, okay, Star Prize, the drawing of the Toad Air Marshal. Slime, slime, slimy, ugly, warty from Craig Smith of Halifax, who won a Hasbro figure. I wonder which one you had, Craig. Maybe you end up with Air Marshal. Hey Bucky, really cool. Show them toads you ain't no fool. With your mega team at your side, watch them toadies run and hide. The storm toads are out to make us trouble, so get there, Bucky, on the double. Clean up the toads from out of space and make it a much nicer place. Crocker some toads. Geraint Neagle Ponty Pool. That's cool because that's where I work. <laughs> so I want to know. Uh, I wonder if that person's still around. Thank you, Garen, for your letter. When it comes to problems, I've never read better. 
<laughs> Thank you, Gary, for your letter. When it comes to poems, I've never read better. If Earth could support, how can we fail? So keep on writing to hear mail. If the toads are coming, don't despair. They won't get they won't get past me, but you're here. Win the prize of three pounds. That's pretty cool. I I enjoyed our page this time. Yeah, I wonder if you still live in Pointy Pool. I'll come and say hello. Okay, Sen carries on the story. And wow. Deadeye and Jenny have uh, uh, taken a toad double bubble there. Another big splash page here, some action them escaping. And I think Riddy's actually in the toad croaker. Yeah. It's like a Star Wars kind of tower there. Okay, on to the next page. I think um, not long after this comic, um, the UK ones start going into their own story because the first issues, like one to five at least, uh, all featured this right here, this this uh, this rat, Bucky and Blinky on this rock going hurtling through space. Love the artwork as well, really cool. Um, yeah, so America and UK followed the same thing until um, the UK actually went on to publish more issues themselves. America ended on five, and the UK went to 20. And this is what you could win in a colouring competition. So we have the some of the crew right there. Oh, Christmas presents. Well, I mean, it's got a bow of straps and there's a candy cane. And of course, you could win a figure. I can't remember if I ever entered any of these competitions. I think I might have. Blinky, what's going on here? Don't ask. <laughs> so it looks like the gang are now back together. Burp. Hey, are they those uh, baby flies? And the the magma tankers once again sucking up magma. Looks nice, doesn't it? Tony Marshall's going to be flustered. This has gone too far. To vaporise the entire planet. Death Star. The magma isn't real. Okay. I will read through these properly one day. Oof. Wow. Implode. And that's how you get rid of a toad magma tanker. Then Winnie goes home to uh, San Francisco. Now, in Winnie's room originally, there was actually um, a TIE fighter there. Still can't see anything at the moment. So Willie's leaving once again. <laughs> Wait, his door's gone. Oh, looks like Willie Stuckley is a bit upset. I wouldn't mind going to a different anniversary at the moment, I can tell you. Universe, anniversary, whatever. So it looks like really staying for more adventures. Well, I guess I'm homeward bound. Then you got Bucky, Jenny, Willy, Deadeye, and Blinky. Next issue. Dun dun dun. Meet the most powerful toad ever created, the meanest of the mean, the baddest of the bad, Toad Borg. He is pretty bad. And on the back of this issue, collector crew is actually Bruce. The Bazooka Baboon, ex-chief engineer of the Righteous Alien Nation, killed in a line of duty, gone but not forgotten. Build your own SPAC crew wall poster by cutting out and keeping this bright pin up. Next issue, Bruce's brother, Bruiser. Yeah, Bruce was killed in the comic. In a cartoon, he actually only got transported to a different dimension. 
Right, guys, that has been issue number six. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you for issue seven shortly.